Hi, I'm Melissa. Hi, I'm Ashley. Hi, I'm Steven. Hi, I'm Matt. And we are the Internationalities. Okay, so for my design, it's going to be, basically, the base is going to be one box with a square, and there's three X's in it. So one section would be three inches long, and then the whole thing together is nine inches long. And um, then after that, you have the middle, which is the walkway, and that totals nine inches long. And um, basically, what happens is there's going to be one side of the base, so it's like this, and then the walkway on top, so that you have it laid out so the popsicle sticks will go across and you make your own bridge. Then at the top, um, there's the arch, so it's in the shape of a trapezoid, and there's two triangles in it to hold it to the walkway. And the reason that's um, a good design choice is because when you have triangles, they are a better support. Like they hold a stronger than um, just a square wood or a trapezoid, and it makes it like easier to connect. And um, basically, what it's going to be made out of is popsicle sticks, just glued together in the way that it shows in the diagram, with as many trusses, which are. Okay, for my bridge, I use trusses because they form triangles, and triangles like have a stronger structure than squares do, and so this was pretty much in everybody's research, so yeah, I use triangles, and I tried to like draw everything like out proportionally, but it didn't really work out, so I know that I have to like plan it more. Alright, um, for my bridge, I too am using a truss foundation so that, uh, that the triangle shape will be able to um, hold up more weight and support the length of the bridge as well as the weight that's being put on it. Um, uh, for the foundation, I'm using a pile foundation. So basically, you're just going to put a bunch of uh, popsicle sticks down to hold uh, each side of the bridge. Um, I found that this could be the best um, design for the foundation because uh, it could just hold the most weight uh, with the materials that we could use. Um, yep, that's uh, the, also, it's using... Um, uh, it's using two kind of trusses where it's making a bigger triangle out of the smaller triangles, which I hope will help uh, support support the bridge more. Uh, like one length will be 17 centimeters, and uh, the As you can see, compared to the drawing I used last quarter, the design for this quarter doesn't include the top part. I chose to take that part off because I felt that it was useless. The bridge support is also different as well. I originally used cylindrical poles, but I decided to change it to the type of support that truss bridges use. I used Steven's research to decide the new bridge design. His research was about truss bridges. I chose the truss bridge structure because it uses triangles, and triangles are more likely to hold weight better. The materials I will use to build the bridge are popsicle sticks and regular glue. And mathematics in the design are geometry. In the bridge support, the triangles have to be the same size. If not, the foundation of the bridge will be lopsided, and that would compromise the integrity of the bridge. That's it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.